exactly the same trip that they took. Just Fingers cool. crossed. No reservations at all. What could go wrong? Who might have some problems? Just maybe. Mom might get pulled over, honestly. My little tater. It'll be awesome. I don't think this thing's breaking down. Woo! I hope it goes good. She will definitely get pulled over. Write it down. Definitely buffalo. Peace, homies. I love the little boogers. Bobcats, mountain lions, alligators. Keep your head on a swivel. Pray we make it. Ghost towns, oh, I hope we make it. All the way to Mexico, hope for the best. The original map they took. Merca! Woo! Left their mobile home here. <laughs> I don't know, it died. They got butts. The world's largest peach. Incredible. Uh-oh. I don't like that noise. Not today, Satan. <laughs> I don't like that. Fingers crossed. Looking good, Squeeze. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> drive off the top of the oh. building. There's the ocean right there. Butts and more butts. Gravel drive. Always a good sign. Ever since the murder. Unbelievable. Zip tie, hold my pants up. Time for Jeopardy. Woo! Head to New Orleans. Oh, dang, son. Louisiana now. Find drugs or something. Jesus, take the wheel. That's unfortunate. Uh-oh. That was an alligator. Flames by the door. That's a oh, cemetery. That sim wow. So cool. Wow. All right, I want to move on. San Antonio, Texas. Giant alligator. Shoot him, Liz. Literally, heart failure. Heat advisory. A new navigator here. She's scared. Abandoned water park. Texas state line. No, thank you. Seems sketchy. Oh, Dollar General. Tragedy happened. He's videoing us. Woo. It's going to cost me. A sketch, isn't it? Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Literally shut down. Swagger buildings. <laughs> it's lit up. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. I did not know. <laughs> no, thank you. 1891, the Alamo. Real Texas Rangers. Wow. All these artifacts. Colonel Sanders, most importantly. Impeccable. Good Texas barbecue. Bubbles to a minimum. Here comes our boat. Wow. 300 year old. Bandera, Texas. Jurassic Park. There's an elk. That's a dance hall. What is that? <laughs> Cacti right there. Clean Bronco. You go to town back here. The microwave right now. A bunch of abandoned Mexico here. Just had to pull over and. What's up? <laughs> a wild Mustang. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Roswell. Alien Festival. <laughs> Aliens everywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We are bringing back the American Station Wagon Road Trip. And we have the perfect example here. A 92 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser Station Wagon. We paid $2,700 for this car just a couple days ago. And this thing is 31 years old. And we're about to take it on a 5,000 mile road trip from the east coast of the United States all the way out west to see some of the best places to visit in the American West. Some of the places we're planning on going, the Alamo, Tombstone, Arizona, Roswell, New Mexico, the Grand Canyon, Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, Yellowstone, the Cody Center for the West, the Grand Tetons, Jackson Hole, some ghost towns, we're wanting to see a little bit of everything out there. A beach, maybe? A beach, yeah, for mom here. But I'm a sucker for history and a sucker for the American West. And I really wanted all of us to take a trip out west and see some of the cool sites out there. But one of the really cool things about this story is my dad, my grandparents, and my great-grandparents went on the same trip in 1976. They drove a 1972 old Vista Cruiser station wagon that they bought a week before they left on the trip. Here's a picture of the wagon they took on their trip. So I'm trying to kind of relive the experience that they went through with taking my kids on the same trip. What's really neat too is Ralphie is the same age as my uncle Chris was when they took this trip. Wawa is the same age as my dad was. My wife Tosh here is the same age as my grandma Linda was. 25. Exactly. And I'm only one year younger than my grandpa was on this trip. So it's almost exactly the same trip that they took. The same. Yeah. Last year, we tried to do this trip in a $1,260 motorhome. If you watch that, it kind of ended in catastrophe. So we made it 1,260 miles to Rapid City, South Dakota and broke down. Had to get towed to a truck stop, lived there for a couple days. And then we sold the motorhome, sold my motorcycle high on the back and got a overpriced rental car to get back home. We made the best of it, but this year we're gonna try to make it more than a mile per dollar spent. And maybe we can make the whole trip in this car and get to show them some of these things that we've been wanting to see since last year. Wawa and me and Ralphie and Squeezy, we've all been doing a ton of research on places we'd like to go. We're really excited about seeing some of this. And I also want my kids to know what it's like to take a trip across the country in a station wagon with a rear facing seat. I know a lot of you guys and girls out there did the same thing with your parents growing up. If you did, comment below, because I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there 
that did the same kind of trip in a station wagon. So they'll take turns with the face in the back. Yeah, we're gonna see who ends up wanting to stay in the back seat the most, but that's what they're most excited about is the rear facing third row seat. We really wanted to take our mini Winnie on this trip. We spent the last two years working on it. And at the last minute, we just had computer issues and wiring issues. It just couldn't work out in time. It already kind of cut into our schedule. It's gonna cut our trip a couple days short, but uh, we're gonna head out of here right now. Fingers Ooh. crossed. Oh, we gotta say goodbye to Rocky and his wives and concubines over here. We're gonna miss you guys. There you go. He prefers to be hand fed if, <laughs> if at all possible. It's funny, she'll pour out a bunch of them and he won't eat them. He'll come up to her to hand feed him because he's a baby How did still. She eat them? It's ridiculous that motel rooms are not okay with goats. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It is going to cost a little more on this trip having to buy motel rooms versus having our own RV to stay in. And we have no reservations at all. No, not the first one. We don't have a single We're reservation. The busiest time of the year. Yeah. What could go wrong? We're going the busiest time of the year and we have no reservations. Let's get on the road. So, Squeeze, what did you pack for this trip? I got a whole backpack of markers, hoeing stuff, slime. Pencils. You, whoa, 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 whoa. Markers and slime yes. in this car? Yeah. And oh, this I feel so much better now. We got our emergency vanias in here just in case anything happens. Oh, yeah. I got some sketchbooks, some dot to dot thing with jigs, traveling pillow, and emergency blanket. Oh, good. What'd you pack, Ralphie? Um, DS2, Mario Kart for life. <laughs> That's like all. Okay. And good. clothes. I packed like seven books and my Brad Pitt blanket, <laughs> a travel pillow, <laughs> and sunglasses. Oh, That's nice. all I got, yeah. Nice. You ready for this drive? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready for this drive? <laughs> I don't know. At least we're not going through Atlanta. Oh, we're not? Man, jewel right there. Yeah, ripper, cold start ripper every time. We are packed in here like sardines. Got stuff everywhere. I packed everything we could up top. Zip ties are gonna hold in there for us. Don't even cut the ends off, guys. No need. I don't know what places we went last year or what places that we're going to go last year. I think we were trying to go to Texas last year, so I kind of want to go to Texas because they say that everything's bigger in Texas. I definitely think the station wagon will make it. Maybe like, yeah, like all the way and back, but like, we might have some problems, just maybe. Completely sure that mom will get pulled over. I feel like she will like, get a ticket and everything. <laughs> I'm excited taking the wagon. I like to sit in the back and wave at people. I kind of wish we were taking an RV because there are snacks and there's a table and somewhere you can sit up and somewhere you can lay down. But you know, you can lay down in the wagon too. Will you miss the animals? I think I'll miss all of them. Except um, all the Rocky Juniors, because I don't really know those, because there's so many of them. I will miss Tater. Tater and Ellie are kind of tied. I think I will miss Tater more, because I want to see how big he grows. What state are you most excited about going to? There was a state with these like cool caves. I actually think I'm excited for Texas, because I want to see what they have there, because I've never been to Texas. What do I want to do most on the trip? Ellie. Well, I want to, what do I want to do? I mostly want to go to the hotels because I like to go to the hotels and look around. I'm going to sit in a back, sit in the back so I can lay down and sleep. I think it is cool that we're doing summer trips with our grandparents because maybe we'll be able to experience some of the stuff that they did or they didn't. How many days will we be gone? Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to be gone for three weeks. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be on the road for 12 hours. So in three weeks, that would be 252 hours. So I don't know how many days. Oh, wait, that would be seven times three. So three, six, seven. So that would be 21 days, I think. What animals do you hope to see? I want to see maybe wild dogs and wild cats just like roaming or like wild donkeys and stuff. Okay. I do want to go to Yellowstone. That is very cool. There's probably some old, like, western places that would be cool to go. I want to go to some actual hot springs that aren't cold springs. If we get, I don't know if we're going to that area or not, but yeah. How do you think the station wagon will make it? Well, I think it will because I think it just running fine. I think it'll make it. Mom might get pulled over, honestly. I don't know. 
Are you excited that we're taking the wagon? Yes, because I like the like backward seat and I just like it. It's a cool wagon. I wish we were taking the RV if it was like fixed up, ready to go, not gonna break down state. Will you miss the animals? Yes, I will. My little tater and scooter and Ellie and Vainia. What do you want to do most on the trip? I really don't have like a top priority. I just want to go on a trip, honestly. I'll either sit in the back seat or the back back seat. It'll be awesome. I think it is cool that we're going on this trip my grandparents took because that's just cool. And it's kind of the same wagon. I'm saying however many days the trip takes is how long we're gonna be because I don't think this thing's breaking down. I don't know what the last question says. I don't know the last question, so yeah. Woo, I hope it goes good. Amen. Do you think the station wagon will make it? I feel like I jinxed it last year. Um, yeah, it'll make it. Sure, hopefully. I really hope it'll make it. Surely. Will mom get pulled over? 100%. She will get pulled over. She goes literally 20 over every time she drives. Every single time. It's like a habit, I guess, for her. She will definitely get pulled over. I'm very excited on taking the wagon. I love that car so much. It's really funny looking. Kind of reminds me of like a bug, like a June bug. And a catfish, kind of. I really like it. Do you wish we were taking the RV? Oh, man. Yes and no. I think the RV would have been a lot cheaper for one, and I just, we spent so much work on it, it's hard to just let it go, but we tried our best with that thing. I wish we were taking the RV, maybe next year. I'm gonna miss all the animals. I'm gonna miss Rocky, I'm gonna miss Scooty, I'm gonna miss Tater. Those are probably my top three. Well, all the goats and cows, really, but don't make me sad. We're gonna be gone for three weeks, hopefully. Yeah, they're gonna miss their mommy, because I'm Tater's mom. Write it down. What state are you most excited about going to? Probably Arizona. I feel like I want to go see the Grand Canyon. I think that's part of Utah and Arizona. It's possible. Somewhere around there. I'm really excited about going to Tombstone and all of the stuff in Arizona. Arizona is just a pretty state, I feel like. And Colorado. Colorado's pretty too. Those are probably my favorites. Basically, a lot of the historic stuff is pretty cool to me. Just the land in general, how it changes. We live, it's just woods and stuff. And then you go up to like Kansas and it's completely flat. You go to like Colorado and it's huge mountains, which I absolutely love. Seeing the difference as you drive is really cool to me. I hope I get at least a little bit of the trip in the back because the backward seat is like awesome. It's absolutely fantastic. To separate Ralphie and Squeezy, I'll probably sit in the back with Squeeze. Maybe we'll just switch sometimes, but hopefully the backward seat the most if we don't fight over it. <laughs> Do you think it's cool that we are doing the same trip your grandparents took? Yes, I think it's awesome because seeing what they did is really cool to like do it over. Excited to do the trip in general. Like wherever we go is fine with me as long as we take it. How many days will we be gone? Three weeks is seven days. Three times seven is 24. No. I can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't do this. Okay, we're gonna skip that one. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how many days will be gone. What animals do you hope to see? Definitely buffalo. You know, it'd be really funny if we saw a snake and dad like freaked out because that's happened before where we went somewhere and we saw a snake and dad absolutely acted like a three-year-old child. Yes, that was absolutely hilarious. And I hope, <laughs> I hope we don't get bit by anything. It'd just be hilarious if we saw a snake and dad like panicked. And I'm out of questions. Peace, homies. Take your time. You Me, take my time? We've been working like crazy on the RV. I mean, from like 7.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, several days on end. And we really wanted to take it several different reasons, but it's not gonna work out this year. I really want to take it because I didn't want to get motel rooms because I'm weird about motel rooms most of the time. It is what it is. And we're gonna go and have a good trip and it's gonna be a fun time and we're not gonna break down and the car is gonna make it back home all in one piece. I don't even know what places we were wanting to go last year because I just go with the flow 
I don't know, maybe Yellowstone, I guess. It's probably the only place in my mind that stands out. I am excited about taking the wagon. One reason is because I will be able to drive it faster and easier than me driving the RV. I was a little bit nervous about driving the RV with it being like so top heavy and stuff. So I do feel better about driving the wagon other than the fact that we'll have to get motel rooms. And it usually takes me probably an hour to pick the one that I'm gonna sleep in. Will I miss the animals? Yes, this is the part that bothers me the most about leaving home. I'm really good about going with the flow. I don't really have a set schedule. It does bother me leaving the animals, but I know they're in good hands. My parents are animal people and they take care of them. They take care of them like they're you know their own animals if anything looks out of place they'll have the vet here i feel confident about that which animal will i miss the most probably scooter and tater and rocky and granny because i feel sorry for granny i'm probably most excited about going to arizona and utah i like the desert ish area out there the cactuses I really like that. I'm excited about taking the kids places they've never been and to some of the things that are big places that I think they're gonna be really overwhelmed to see. You know, if we make it like to the Grand Canyon or something, I think that's gonna be, you know, a life changing experience for them. So I'm excited about that. Do you think it's cool we are doing the same trip that the grandparents took? I think that's cool, you know. He's talked about this trip forever and that his family went on a trip. My family never went on a trip like that. They went to Florida like one time before I was grown and that was enough to do them. He says three weeks, like that's what it takes to drive 5,000 miles, but I think we'll be home sooner than that. I think surely we'll be home sooner than that. That's a long time to be gone from our home. Three weeks? I hope we see some prairie dogs again. I know that the people that you know have to deal with them all the time probably don't like them but i love the little boogers i would keep some here if i could let's just be honest okay i don't know if there's any tortoises out there i love tortoises that's another thing i would love to have as a tortoise i'm not sure if it's legal in this state to have them the bison i love bison i get a little bit nervous thinking about my kids being in a, like a national park with like all these animals free roaming and squeeze is the world's worst to not stay with the group she doesn't really have the fear that she should have about some things some things she has too much fear and some things she doesn't have enough fear like she's picked up snakes before as like two-year-old three-year-old four-year-old five-year-old she doesn't care I will be on edge when we're out and about, if we're in a state park or, you know, desert, worried about some rattlesnakes, worried about some bears, bobcats, mountain lions, bison, elk, alligators, scorpions, whatever is there, I'll be on edge. I'll, I'll have my head on a swivel, okay? That's one thing my dad taught me, keep your head on a swivel. All in all, I think it's going to go well. I think it will be better than the trip last year. Even if something happens, I think that it won't be as stressful for one because it's not as big of a vehicle as the RV was last year. So I think he will definitely do better if something does happen. Hopefully we don't break down, but you never know. Super excited. I think it's going to go well, and I think it's going to be an amazing trip. Bye! Uh, well, I guess it's my turn. Man, we've had a lot of work lead up to this. We spent so much time working on the RV and I really thought we were gonna get it done in time. And we would have if it wasn't for the computer issues we've had. If we'd have been doing an LS swap or something, it would have been so much simpler, but didn't wanna put a LS motor in a Dodge. But we'll get it eventually. I wish it would have worked out, but it didn't. I'm really excited about the wagon. I'm really excited about going on the same trip that my grandparents did in the same car. That's super exciting to me. Probably the biggest thing I didn't get to do last year I wanted to do was I really wanted to go to Yellowstone. I really wanted to go to the Cody Center for the West. I really wanted to show the kids what Utah looks like. It's so beautiful. I really wanted to go to Tombstone, Arizona because I'm such a Western nut. Those are probably my biggest ones. The Grand Canyon, of course. Do I think the station wagon will make it there? I really, really hope so because we had such a struggle last year on the trip, breaking down after 1,200 miles. I hope it makes it more than a dollar a mile because if so, we'll be stuck in the middle of like 2,700 miles from here. Hopefully we break our record on that. It looks like it's been taken care of pretty good. 
We did what little bit of maintenance we could in like a day. Hopefully it'll work out. I really hope so. We'll just hope for the best and <laughs> pray we make it. Oh, will mom get pulled over? It would surprise me if she didn't, the way she drives. I asked her nicely to uh, slow down because she drives over the speed limit all the time. I'm really hoping she doesn't get pulled over. That would really get on my nerves. I hate paying tickets. I hate my insurance going up. I hope she drives slow when she's driving. I'm gonna try to drive as much as I can, but I've got to edit, so that's the problem is trying to keep the content coming out on time i pretty much have to edit while we're driving or at night i hope she keeps it down where we won't get pulled over am i excited we're taking the wagon i mean i would have rather taken the rv especially with all the work we put into it it would have been nice to have like onboard refrigerator and water and pull it uh, and somewhere to sleep so you don't have to find a room tosh really doesn't like finding rooms she gets really stressed out about it because she don't want to stay in like a junky room she's worried about like bed bugs or whatever roaches she's really funky about rooms so there's probably gonna be some stress with her trying to pick out a room for us i guess i'll have to give her plenty of time to find one and we'll just have to deal with wherever she picks one but i am excited about the wagon because it's the same wagon my grandparents took on their trip the glass roof and all. My great grandpa even traded for that car the week before they left. So it's like almost the same exact scenario playing out. The fact that we're all the same ages as my parents and grandparents were when they went, it's just the right time to do it. I mean, I would have loved for the RV to work out, but it didn't. So what are you gonna do, you know? And you guys know, I'm a wagon fan anyway. So I'm excited it's a wagon. If we were taking some SUV or minivan, I would not be excited about that at all. Definitely gonna miss Scooter the most. Me and him, we edit together every day. The videos really wouldn't be what they are without Scooter's input. When I'm working outside, I'm kind of with Rocky a lot. When I'm inside, I'm with Scooter. So I guess those are kind of my favorites. But yeah, I'm going to miss them. I'm sure Rocky is going to be taking care of the place for sure. The state I'm most excited about going to, probably Wyoming. It just seems like everything I see about Wyoming is just a beautiful place to visit. So that's the one I'm most excited about. What do I want to do the most? Probably visit like Western ghost towns or even western just tourist towns that look old we went to 1880s town last year right before we broke down and that was awesome we went to leadville colorado that was awesome we went to deadwood that was great i love the old western towns, so that's what i'm most excited about maybe we can find some old western ghost towns or some western tourist towns that have some history every time i travel i'm looking for history i just love history especially late 1800s early 1900s history that's what i'm most excited about i'm really looking forward to that because that's what the west is i mean from the you know mid 1800s to the early 1900s that's what most people think of when they think of the west that's when it was kind of settled so and that time was the most interesting history to me so i'm super excited about it my dad always talked about going on a trip out west when i was a kid i mean we went to texas on power tour and that was really cool like that was the first time i'd ever been out west was going to texas and that was really fun but we never went like all the way out like where i'm wanting to go i'm most interested about like the strip there of like arizona utah colorado wyoming that's what i'm really interested in i'm super excited that we're doing this trip and going a lot of places that my grandparents my dad my uncle my great grandparents went and having the pictures and the map that they went on we're going to be going to some of the same exact places they went to i'm really excited about redoing that trip in the same kind of car that they went in ours is just much older <laughs> and we don't know anything about it well if we leave in the morning this trip will be i think 19 or 20 days something like that until we have to be back how long do i think will last oh i hope we make it like I really hope we can make it the full time. And we don't have to be gone for the full 20 days. If we get seen what we've seen and come back home, then that's fine with me. But I just hope we can make the whole route all the way to Mexico, basically, all the way to Wyoming and all the way back. Uh, if we can do that whole route, I'll be super happy and excited. Because after last year's debacle, you know, it'll just be good to actually make it. The animals I'm most excited about seeing, number one for sure is an elk. I have never seen an elk in the wild in person and like the bugling noise they make with the huge antlers. If we could see an elk, I would be happy. I'd love to see like a bear from a distance. I've seen black bears around here, even up close, but to see like a big bear from a distance and buffalo. So probably elk, buffalo, 
and a bear. Uh, I don't want to see a bear up close. I hope Tosh doesn't get too stressed out on this trip. She tends to kind of get stressed out leaving her animals, leaving the house for a long period of time. Seems to have gotten worse since we do this for a living now. We're home all the time, so I'm just hoping she can go and enjoy it. Sometimes I have trouble enjoying a trip because of all the work I've got to do. She seems to have trouble enjoying a trip sometimes because of all the packing and leaving stuff behind and coordinating other people to take care of stuff while she's gone. So I just hope she can soak it in and enjoy it, and hopefully I can too. And I hope the kids have a great time. I know Wawa and Ralphie will have a great time. I hope Squeezie has a good time. Sometimes she gets bored really quickly with the way her mind goes. So I'm hoping we do a lot of stuff that she'll really enjoy. And that's all I've got to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Hope for the best. I can't believe we're actually doing I know, it almost don't feel real. It doesn't really feel real. It didn't like kick in till this morning. I'm like, oh, we're actually leaving. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There was a lot of uncertainty building up to this with the yeah. whole RV project. I can't even see Squeezel back there. Are you back there? Get a thumbs up out of you? You excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, she'll ride. We already on almost at 80. So one of the cool things is I got all this stuff from my grandparents. So this is the original map they took on their trip. It has the exact route that they took. Hopefully we won't need that one, right? Yeah, <laughs> all the way out, all the way back. Very cool stuff. And I actually got the photo albums from their trip. Hopefully we can match up some of these photos on places we're going to be on this trip is what I'm hoping for. This is the very first mile we drove it loaded. We have not drove it loaded down at all. Mom swore an oath she wouldn't speed on this trip. I didn't think I was swearing nothing. <laughs> I told you I'd try to be better. I'm going 80, not 85. One of the coolest things about this wagon is it has the glass bubble sunroof just like my grandparents one did that they got. I love that. So if you didn't see the video where we went and got this car, it rolled over 100,000 miles on the way home. So it was a legit little old lady's car that unfortunately she got sick and passed away and her family was selling the car and we bought it because uh we wanted to do the trip just like my grandparents did really nice survivor car good interior as of right now we had to get the triple sig lighter adapter here <laughs> because there's no outlets in here except for just the one when you do what we do for a living you got to have a lot way to charge everything we actually are going to have to pull in here and get gas immediately. This is going to be the first appearance in public in all these shirts, so that'll be fun. <laughs> I love how they feel, though. They do feel great. Merka! Well, it looks like our straps are holding on good. I was wondering how that would do down the interstate. We got to go get a Ram McNally, don't we? Ram McNally? I don't know what that is. An Alice. Oh, yeah. Squeeze is just tucked away in there. I love going into truck stops. We did a lot traveling with my dad growing up. I just got used to going to truck stops. I think they're cool. Absolutely no luck on the Rand McNally. Yeah. What is this world coming to? I mean, what happened to paper maps? Yeah. We'll here. find one. We'll keep looking. First gas stop, 17 gallons, 51 bucks. Couldn't find one anywhere before we left on the trip. I thought for sure we'd get one at a truck stop, but no luck. We do not have a sandstone route, I could tell you. We're just planning on going like across Alabama, into Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, and into Arizona. Then we're gonna go north from there up towards Yellowstone. Shoot, what'd you do? Put some gas on the roof, it's over full. <laughs> I kept flicking it. We got good oil pressure, temp's good. Wawa's already reading a book. How many books are you going to read in this trip? That's all, unfortunately. Hey, I, I, I couldn't read those in a year. <laughs> Same. Yeah, last year's trip was supposed to be three weeks. It ended up being seven days. We'll see how long we go. So I've kind of been looking at the little map we've got here that we've marked some stuff. I mean, we live in this area, so we've seen most of what's really close to us. Our plan today is to drive all the way to the coast because that's mom's love language is the beach. And we're probably going to go towards Mobile, Alabama and then work our way towards like Biloxi, New Orleans, on our way towards Texas. We'll see what we see along the way. I just thought it's gonna be funny to see the gas mileage comparison between your driving and my driving. Cause I know I'm gonna beat you on that. Ooh, man, he lost his trailer. Ooh, bad deal. There's gonna be so many songs on this. <laughs> Every city has a song, doesn't it? We're splitting off towards Birmingham, but it's really pretty down here. You got Missionary Ridge and Lookout Mountain. A lot of history here. How's she doing with these bumps? Float like a boat. <laughs> it's probably a good thing this thing's never been lowered, huh? Yeah. We'd be dragging. 
Oh, that's a cool building. Abandoned warehouse building. Look at that. Love it. I wonder what they used to do there. It'd be cool to know. I'd like to go in it. Hey, 3X. What? 3X get, Zoom. Get that off there. Get <laughs> that off there now. We just crossed into Georgia. You know the deal. Woo! That's right. I guess they just left their mobile home here. <laughs> what in the world? First time I've seen that. Oh, son, we're in Alabama already. Woo! Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> Where the skies are so blue. Excuse one line, son. Well, Ralphie has told us it's time to eat. He is literally starving. Wawa is super excited about wearing our Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Into the restaurant. <laughs> Come on, Wall. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Ralphie's dying for Burger King. So we've knocked out a little over 100 miles now. I've been watching the gauges. Everything seems fine so far. Wait, you still on the phone? Yeah, already 100 miles, bro. All right, Burger King it is. First meal. I hear the air suspension oh, going. Me. Yeah, my knees too, bud. Squeeze, how's it riding back here? Good. I can't find my shoes though. I, I didn't know you ever wore shoes. Yeah. Our cargo thing's holding in there. It's kind of leaned back a little bit. Like the front's all smushed back now. That's funny. Looking good, Wawa. Looking real good. I, I told her, I said, watch that bumper on the curb. She parked like four feet from it. Is this your favorite, Ralph? He loves Burger All right, let's get back on the road. What a jewel, huh? Oh, okay. Crank her up again, maybe. Is it good now? Yeah. What was that? I don't know, it died. The only issue we've had so far is the SIG glider here is not working. And it was working yesterday, so I don't know why it's not working. So we're gonna have to figure out why that's not working and fix it. Maybe we get a blown fuse or something. I'll try to figure it out tonight, I guess, when we get to a motel, because we gotta charge stuff. I think this is the funniest thing here. I'm going to have to figure out something I need to store in there. It's so plush. This may be rich Corinthian leather. I'm not sure. Soft Corinthian leather. Where is Dash? I don't, where are you going to find a car with a Dash like that? It's not cracked. It's beautiful. As soon as we get home, this thing's going in the garage. Sleeping. This is her sleeping face. We got tasty treats and hot eats here. It's real hot. They got the AC. Oh man, yeah. Very nice. We should just follow them. We won't have to stop and eat nowhere. Well, we're pulling over here at Springville or something. Mom just can't make it any more miles, so I got a bunch of editing done while she drove. I guess it's my turn now. Do not be on this thing. Why on earth do you think I would video you asleep on this trip? She just didn't have enough miles in her. Ralph is going to take his turn in the back back. It's the pedal on the right. <laughs> hey, I'll get up to the speed limit. Well, immediately it's telling me to get off the interstate. There must be a wreck up here. So on to the back roads we go towards Odenville, wherever that's at. It's kind of a funny name. Shoot, they got a Piggly Wiggly. Well, and Tosh missed it. Can you believe that? They got butts, ribs, and chicken there. What a deal. Mile marker. Another Dodge Central. I love the old towns. Oh, that's cool. I think we've found the world's largest peach. Pretty sure. I guess we're in Clayton, Alabama. Look at the size of this peach. Big booty cheese. Yes, it is. Mom just woke up. You missed like seven Dollar Generals. What? Why are we stopped? 
Look at that thing. It's huge. That's definitely the biggest peach I've ever seen. Incredible. That's when it falls and rolls on the front. Yeah, that makes sense. New merch available at thesleeperdude.com. Go check it out. All right, we're switching it up again. So we're three deep in here. Wawa is super excited about it. So apparently later in the day like this, it's 90 something degrees outside. It gets pretty hot in the back. And we're about to get on the interstate again. I guess we got past that wreck. Did you see say black coolant? Oh, coolant. Uh oh. Uh, pump it up. Let me look at it. I don't see any coolant leaking out. And the coolant is full. Uh, hopefully that's a sensor. I don't like that noise the compressor is making. I'm hoping it's bogus because the coolant thing is completely full. Well, it went off, so. Oh, well, good deal. We're good. According to our gauge, we're still good on gas for like a half a tank. So we should be golden if our gauge is right. This is the most American truck driver I've seen. <laughs> Gulf of Mexico, here we go. This guy is passing people with this pool. That seems sketchy. 80 miles an hour, maybe too fast to go with your swim pool. We're coming into the big city of Montgomery, Alabama. It's not midnight in Montgomery though. First sign for mobile, or mobile, if you're not from around here, I guess. Oh, man. Not today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time a cop's ever passed you and it wasn't you passed a cop. <laughs> We're about to need some gas. You know, we don't really know this gas gauge yet. I know my car. I bet you do. See what our gas mileage is. This will be interesting. Not sure what's going on over here. A little bit of crazy going on. Well, it's got some speckles here of some sort of fluid leaking out. I don't know what it is. It's speckled up the pulley, so our fan blade's got it on it, too. I don't like that. So it's getting pretty hot in the very back seat. We're still taking turns. I, I ain't gonna sit with her and her on. You don't want to sit three wide? So we use 16.6 .6 gallons, we just did the math. We're getting 17 miles the gallon, which for mom's driving is not too bad, really. I'd say the motorhome would have probably got 10 or 12. Probably. The search for a paper atlas continues. Success, collector's edition. Wow. Wawa's gonna get to ride in the back now. I'll keep the air pointed your way. So I've resorted to having to charge the camera from this right here. You done unstrap, feller. It's just not the same on the interstate. You don't get to see the Dollar Gentles from here. It's hard to keep up with your mileage when you don't know how many Dollar Gentles you pass. Right. Yeah. Over a thousand Okay, dollars. markers in my car. So I'm trying to find us a place to stay tonight. I thought, oh, well, we'll stay maybe Gulfport, Mississippi. It's telling me there's no properties left there. Good deal. First night. Issues. Well, after some searching, there was just a few rooms left in Biloxi. So I ended up getting a room across the street from the water in Biloxi, so hopefully it's good. Fingers crossed. So maybe I should book all the room for this trip. <laughs> we'll see after tonight. Yeah, we'll see how tonight we'll goes. See. She asked me how much the double tree was, and I was like, uh -huh, I act like I didn't hear. So. <laughs> <laughs> they found this old game they had when they were little kids. They dug it out of the closet and charged it up. Are you doing your skin cares? This is what Squeezy does in her spare time. She makes sure her skincare is good. <laughs> Looking good, Squeeze. <laughs> is it getting to you, Ralphie? Yeah, it is strong. <laughs> we are like an hour and a half from Biloxi. Oh, Aki's Bridge. It don't help. I had a dream about Aki Bridge falling out. Oh, uh, no. Crazy. You can see forever out here. My 
my hip's killing me. I can't stay in the car very long anymore. If I ride, my driver's side hip hurts. If I drive, my passenger side hip hurts. So it's a no win either way for me. Well, we can't see it, but the ocean is that direction. Mobile Bay or whatever they call it over there. We're headed towards Pascagoula, Mississippi. <laughs> Guys, we are in Mississippi. Nice. That's definitely starting to look different here from where we live, that's for sure. It's like a swamp. It does kind of look like a swamp, doesn't it? I wouldn't want to walk through all that. Oh my gosh, look at there, look at there. We're coming up on the coast to Bluxy, which has a lot of casinos and stuff and motels. Hey, I love gamble. This ain't no top of my life. I'm actually 21. <laughs> Mr. Papa Giorgio back here. That, that's when you know, dead giveaway. Here's our first salt water, I think, right here. Got a jet taking off. This is a draw bridge. Draw? Draw oh, bridge. That, that's, is that different than draws? <laughs> yeah, it's different. Look. I think I see some casino action here. Ooh, oh. ooh, it gave you the wiggles, didn't it? Oh, got you, didn't it? Palpitation. Got me. IP Casino Resort. Boy, oh, stand at that. Quality. <laughs> <laughs> we had no resort to buy kids. We had the quality in. Look. Whoa, he's right off the top of the oh, building. Auntie, don't you stop. Whoa. It. He's got to be like 50 feet from that building. Don't you get over here, buddy. Whoa. Get he is right there. here. Wow, that is close. In front of us. It's an ocean. It's been so long. There's the ocean right there. Oh. It's all you in the babe. I know, I can't hardly drive. Oh, We're trying to look. Yeah. Ooh, nope. Here we go. We're looking. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. This lighthouse here was one of the first cast iron lighthouses in the country. Built in the 1800s. Very cool. Yeah. The Luxie Visitor Center. It's beautiful. Wow. You guys ready to go see the ocean? Huh? Yes. I'm way in this. Wow. Yep. Look at those. I bet they've been here a long time. They look old. Well, it's definitely a beach town, <laughs> isn't it? Whoa. South Beach Hotel. They've got a Waffle House. That's all that matters. Amen. There you go. Butts, butts, and more butts. Fat bottom barbecue. Beautiful. Sounds awesome. It's Sounds like a business I would own. I swear these veins are cooked back here. They probably are. They've been in the window the all day. It is at least 110 degrees. I think we're here. We'll see how I did. Gravel drive, always a good sign. Arrived. See, we arrived. At least it is on the beach, actually. And there's a Waffle House next to it. Win-win. It is thick here, I'm telling you. It is super hot and humid here. It's gotta be 100 here or something. Oh, it is a beautiful beach here. Mom's funny about motels that have the doors on the outside. She thinks they're old and no good, so we'll see how this goes. Did it live up to your lofty standards? It's pretty nice though, really. I think it's okay. We got a lot of rooms to buy, honey. Okay? I know. <laughs> Gotta cut back. It was the last room they had. Did they tell you that they haven't rented it out ever since the murder or anything? <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> I'll have us at the resort, casino resort. Oh yeah, triple tree. Oh, well, at least it's cold in here, huh? Hey, mini fridge and a microwave, not bad. Somebody's sleeping in the floor. Hey, we made it in time to watch Wheel of Fortune. Not bad, huh? We got the laptop charging, the GoPro charging, my jump pack charging, my phone charging, everything charging, because we had no charging options. I gotta look at that before we leave. Maybe we have a blown fuse or something. We're gonna go down to the beach and see what's up with that. I wish you could feel the heat in this place. Unbelievable. Unbelievably humid, yeah. And we're used to humidity. Is it gonna be different when we get out west? It's just gonna be hot and not humid. I mean, that's kind of better. This is the only time where I don't slink out. <laughs> they can't get on us, come on. You're looking at a beach right here, guys. Oh, it's an island. You can go out to the island, huh? You love it? It's pretty, the sand's pretty here. I could go out on that pier, huh? Oh, yeah, it's not cold. 
Very nice. Shoot, we got our own private island out here. Squeeze is not scared of anything. Usually when we take her to the beach, she goes whoop, straight down in the water. You see her feet. Ready to go. <laughs> Looks like I still got my flops on. Well, Ralphie wanted to go out in the pier like I did, so we're gonna see if we can find any fishy fishies. You got any fishy fishies? Fishy fishies. I love going out in the pier. We've seen like sea turtles and dolphins before and stingrays and everything. Is that somebody else was catching a plane fisherman? Yeah, we just look. Man, it's a good thing we moved just in time. The snow cone van pulled up. Squeezy would have had him around the neck. Very pretty sunset, yeah. All we saw was a couple jellyfish. No sharks. This is how high the water got. Hurricane Katrina, base flood elevation, high water mark, and Hurricane Camille. All right, on to the Waffle House. I've already had a shower. You guys saw that. That was not a shower. And I've got a zip tie holding my pants up because I forgot my Groove Life belt. This place is so muggy, you walk across the street and you look like Jim Carrey coming out of that hippo's butt. <laughs> It's kind of like a curb feeler, you know? This is Squeezy's favorite place to eat. <laughs> Are you excited? She loves the hash browns here. Which one of these is not like the other one? You're so fancy. <laughs> well, did that hit the spot, Squeezel? Yeah. Good. Best waffles in the country. Well, let's go to the room, I'm tired. I'm tired. Man, that was very convenient. Yeah. It's like right here. We're gonna book more rooms like that, Squeeze. We made it back in time for Jeopardy. Woo! Well, we knocked out 526 miles today. Not bad, mom. Not bad at all. Is this any better than spending the night in Cornfield, Missouri the first night? <laughs> I thought you would like this a little better. We had fun. Car did great. So far, so good. I got a bunch of editing to do, so I'm gonna get to doing that and they're gonna get to sleeping, I guess. Shoo up. Shoo up. Well, good morning. It's like 6 a.m. I got up a little before everybody else, of course, and I'm trying to look at the car. Check the fluids, everything looks good. So hopefully we're good there. I don't know if you can hear, but the compressor is running this morning. So enough of that, it's gonna kill our battery. So I don't know what to do there. I went through and checked all the fuses this morning. All of them were good. And I took my tester and it's showing we have 12 volts on the cigarette lighter. So I don't know why our stuff's not charging. I gotta figure that out. But I guess that's a good sign we have voltage. So once everybody gets up, we'll get on the road, head towards Louisiana. So all the babies woke up. It's time to go get a continental breakfast. I don't know what continent it's from, but there's a waffle maker or a steamroller pancake thing. It's good. Almost had a pry bar situation this morning, but luckily was able to keep it holstered. Didn't have to break that out. I got way, way more sleep than I did in Missouri last year. I think I slept like two hours in Missouri last year. So I slept all night. Good news. They had the waffle maker and the chocolate covered donuts and orange juice. The trifecta. You didn't cut your end off. I know. Hey, on, I, I don't know where my wire cutters are, <laughs> but we're going to head to New Orleans this morning. I, I can't be this close to it without going through New Orleans a little bit yeah. at least. Cool town. Ralphie's in the back this morning. Buckled up, buttercup. Let's pit. Oh, oh, Brad Lord. Pitt. What a deal. Well, I guess we're saying goodbye to the beach. Oh, dang, son. Better get that fixed. Good times. It is a real calm beach here, it looks like. Yeah, it is nice. It's pretty. Well, we're carrying on my wife's family tradition of going to a Walmart everywhere you stop. I gotta get a belt and a couple other things, maybe some meals. We're gonna get some food that we can eat, like lunch in the car, maybe. I thought she was looking for sandwiches. No, she found her flavor of Rockstar. Don't worry about me. Don't worry, I got me a belt with options, so that's nice. Oh, well, I'm gonna drive because we're going through New Orleans and mom don't like driving through big cities. We're wanting to see the Garden District of New Orleans, so it's supposed to be some cool old houses. We like stuff like that. And then we're gonna head towards uh, Texas. We just got passed in the grass. That truck right there just passed us in the emergency lane in the grass. She couldn't get the phone out of time. <laughs> Put it on. Love it. I keep putting this thing on cruise, and if we hit a hard bump, the yeah, cruise shuts off. Get your gas on the pedal on the right, and I'll be worried about the cruise. <laughs> what? You're so weird. She just figured out that I've made a system where squares oh, mean a certain Lord. town, circles mean a certain thing. 
I just wanted to keep up with what stuff was in what towns. You're ridiculous. It's Texas. Yeah, this is all the things in Texas I thought would be cool. Oh my god. And all the squares are in the same area and all the circles are in the same area. It's called planning. I'm not sure if you're familiar with no. it. And we're going over the Pearl River. We're about to go into Louisiana. Hey, look at that view, guys. Sweet. I was so like look at the trees. There there ain't, I ain't going to find out. Oh, we're in Louisiana now, guys. Woo! I came here with my dad in like 2002 or three on Hot Rod Power Tour. We spent one night here. I've never been here. Didn't go anywhere or do anything. I just remember... There being one-way streets that being confusing, and I stayed in some sketchy motel only. And that's why you said I couldn't drive, right? Right. <laughs> hey, I give them the Michelle hand. Oh. We get through there. You don't want to put the Michelle stop sign up. Oh, I will. All right, New Orleans, here we come. Another truck stop. Here we come. We're like eighth of a tank, probably time. <laughs> you know your car, but you're not letting it get below eight. <laughs> not, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that got us asked out about buying drugs or something. <gasps> Lord help us. Jesus, take the wheel. She got asked me if I want some snacks. Yeah. <laughs> she talking about D-R-U-G-S's? Yes, snacks. <laughs> snacks. My man carrying the snacks around for sale. Another tank of gas. We got 16 miles to go. So that's unfortunate. We need to go up, not down, huh? Another huge bridge. I guess this is the water that divides like the mainland area over to the north. We have a low coolant light and a fail going off. So you're not overheating? No, I'm not overheating. Maybe 200 degrees. I checked the coolant this morning. It was fine. Now it just went out. Hopefully that's just a uh, faulty sensor or something. It's going again. Went back off. We're gonna have to plug out. Look. I don't like that. The roadkill definitely has changed. That was an alligator as roadkill on the side of the road. You saw an alligator? I just, that was, that's what that roadkill was. It was an alligator. I it. Oh my gosh. Y'all better keep your eyeballs open. The head's on a swivel. Man, it looks like there's a lot of damage still from maybe hurricanes or something. A lot of empty parking lots, empty buildings. I know there's still a lot of damage down here, even from Katrina. So, what are those? Like some type of floats. Superdome? Is that where they stuck everybody during Katrina? Pretty sure. Wow, look at that church. It's beautiful. Wow. wow. Looks old. It is. Look at these houses over here to the left, Walt. Yeah. Reminds me of like a... Oh, look at this trolley car. <gasps> wow. Look at that trolley. Wow. Oh, wow. He's in the middle. Yeah, they do. That's I think they have like 30 awesome. of them down here. They still use them. Those things were put in probably in the early 1900s. You can't even see the tracks for the grass. Like it's, I didn't even know there was hey, a thing there. Do you remember that from the movie Curious Case of Benjamin Button? He lived here. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he remember he walked yeah, across the street yeah, in front of the trolley cars. That's funny. We reference everything back to a movie or a song. <laughs> <laughs> These are some real good climbing trees. Yes, they are. I'm not driving. Gosh, this road is super rough. Look at these houses. Look at this little house. It looks like something you live in. I love the rounded window tops. We've been to Savannah, Georgia before, and it looks very similar to what this does. Look at where you hit your horse. Oh! They still have places to hit your horse there. I could hit your goat. Good. Right. Look at the little flames by the door. These houses are beautiful down here. We want to do a trolley tour, but they don't open until like noon. I really don't want to wait around till noon, but these are beautiful houses down here. I love that old brick wall. Oh, I do love that. That's a cemetery. Oh, that's a cemetery. Ooh. They bury above ground here because of the water level. What? 
It's called a mausoleum, is that right? Sounds right. Yeah, they bury above ground because of the water level. It makes sense, but it's kind of weird. I love old cemeteries. It's locked up. I'd love to go in there. Wow, some colorful buildings here. That's my color up there. For the houses to be so nice, why don't they fix the roads? Is that called wrought iron? Right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that tree in their front yard. I wonder what a house here goes for. I bet it's super expensive. I love to live in one of these houses. They're yeah. beautiful. They really are. This is where the trolley comes through, right here. Yeah. Wow. It's, crazy it's cool. To me. Oh, it's super cool. It's a good I have never seen a working trolley like that. That is so cool. Very cool. She ain't got no air conditioning. No. I love the old paintings on the brick. Man, it's sad to see the homeless encampments and stuff here. It's so sad. We got the barbecue smoker and the couch and everything. Very pretty town. Very pretty. Wow. Crazy. I have never seen a cemetery like that. That's wow. so weird. That is crazy. I guess we're headed towards Baton Rouge now. Hit it, Ralphie. <laughs> so the plan now is to try to make it to San Antonio, Texas tonight, which is like, I think it's like a, what, eight and a half hour drive, something like yeah. that. Because there's several things around San Antonio we want to do. And some of these stops, we're probably going to stay more than one night if there's a lot of stuff to do. So we may stay more than one night in San Antonio. But how pretty was that, huh? That yeah, was really nice. I think we may need to come back and, and spend a few days there sometime. Impeccable? Was it impeccable? Hey, look at that swamp. These are some gators and snakes. Uh, All know, that good, good. I know if I was going out there, I'd want to be in a boat and I wouldn't be under any trees. It's the bayou. I guess it is. Shoot them, Liz. Well, now that we're out of the big city, we're going to pull over and do the old switcheroo. Mom's going to drive and I'm going to edit. Make up some good time. Yeah. It's already hot here. Yeah. It's like oh. smoking hot already. Smoking hot. You just sit it up here and pay for it. This is witchcraft. We spotted a giant alligator. We're going to investigate. This is like the welcome center or something of whatever little town we're in. Bonfire County, it says. I do love roadside attractions. It's made out of those pieces of wood, huh? Why don't you build me one thing? I need to build you one, don't I? Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's get back after it. It is hotter than hot. It is smoking hot, and it's like early in the morning still. Golly, it's only gonna get worse. muggy here. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that we never put casing shine on that one casing. We still got a dry spot on the casing. <laughs> it's hilarious. I swear I've seen a grasshopper that long on the side of the road. What if it got in your hair? I would die. Literally heart failure. <laughs> it would be the end. We're looking for gators down there. We haven't seen a gator in the water yet. It'd be cool to do one of those airboat tours or something one day. This town is in a heat advisory, apparently, for this week. Of course, it's hotter conditions than ever this week. <laughs> Makes sense. Squeeze was sweltering in the very back, so she got to move at the very front. She's the most hot natured one of the group, so she moved up here, got her buckled up in the front. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. I finally figured out the charging scenario. You just gotta give her a little wiggle. I had tried that, but I guess we're not talking like a level one wiggle here. We're talking like a level 10 wiggle. You just one spot, it'll work right. We got a new navigator here. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. Lord, that thing is big. We're headed towards Lafayette, or in Tennessee, Lafayette. What well, a big bridge. <laughs> She's scared. <laughs> Mom does not like driving with the big trucks and tight quarters like this. We got Wawa on the Atlas. I'm trying to teach my kids things that most kids their age don't know, like how to drive a car with a manual transmission. How to read a map, how to know which direction you're going without your phone, stuff like that. It's really well. You ain't letting no grass grow, are you? Ain't or nothing. Don't you worry about me. Worry about you. We have literally been on bridges for like the last 50 miles or something. If you'd have known this, you wouldn't have wanted to drive, huh? No, like seriously, 10 or 15. It's all just swampland down here, and there's, I guess they can't build a regular road here. That this even got built is kind of incredible. 
Could you imagine having to be the people that built these bridges out here in the middle of the swamp? Because you know they built this like in the 50s or something. I wonder if how many people got killed by gators. I don't know. You know, people had to have got sick or hurt down here. And in the heat, I couldn't imagine doing it. Better men than me right there. I like how it's bouncy. It's kind of fun. I think she may need some shocks. That compressor for the shocks runs like non-stop, I believe. We're really up high on the bridge now. Oh, there's a boat. What a deal. You can see like some poles where they used to have a bridge out there, it looks like. Because they're on the road. Wow. It's like a different world, isn't it, Squeezel? <sighs> Just looked at the weather forecast for Texas for the next few days. 98, 99, 99, 97. <laughs> Good news. It's starting to look different out here, isn't it? It's not swampland anymore. It's flatland. It's funny how diverse the U.S. is on how it looks, you know, as you drive across. Probably have flat land for a long time now. We're going to pull off and eat us some lunch out of the cooler and give this car a break from mom. And this is in Crowley, Louisiana. Looking good. Casing's looking good, Ralphie. Uncrustable as it is, I guess, right? Pray for that 5.7 liter up there. It's in for it now. That was so cool. It's like walking into a movie set or something. That would really be neat to stay there and go on the trolley system and stuff. This video is brought to you by Onyos, the best cornmeal and maltodextrin rings on the market. You can't beat them. Onions, you're going out of business. Baked, not fried. It's funny, this thing, if the engine's hot, the hydraulic cylinders get hot and they'll hold the hood up. And if it's a cold morning, you have to vice grip them up or it won't stay up. <laughs> it's just right on the verge of being able to hold the hood up. I still see speckles on this, but it doesn't seem to be getting worse. Okay, back on the road. Hey, you can't be eating out all the time. It's too darn expensive nowadays. Sure. I'm sure you guys grew up that way where you just pull over and get the picnic basket out. I know that's how I grew up. Peanut she, butter jelly She may not have grown up that way. I don't know. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, nice. We got a Porsche. Ooh. That's basically a beat up. And yeah, we are definitely getting into flatlands now, aren't we, guys? It's super flat. This Tesla has a miniature recliner on his trailer here. It's just wobbling all over the place. We've got abandoned water park action over here. Kind of cool. I love abandoned stuff. So many houses with tarps on the roof here. That is a massive bridge. It's took her straight up and down. You ain't lying, cuz. You don't like it? I thought you were over bridges. You thought you were fine with bridges. With heights. Oh, the heights. Got it, got it. I don't think the camera justifies how steep this bridge is. It's pretty steep. My stomach. It's fine. Look at the beautiful views. Wow, look how much industrial stuff is here. I think it's an oil refinery. Oh, look at the old house. Wow. These tanks are massive. Wow, this just keeps going on both sides of the highway. I don't think I've ever seen refineries that big. Well, there's the Texas state line. Woo! We're gonna pull in here to the Texas Travel Information Center. Oh man, look at the big Texas star. Watch for snake. Oh, whoa. No, thank you. Two signs that say watch for snake. Oh wow, they're flat towing a, a dually down the interstate. Seems sketchy. Oh, this is nice. It's a lot cooler in here. He's just an old man, you know, young man's body. Bro, I'm on edge. That what? snake sign, I'm oh, on yeah. edge. We got a picture we got to recreate over here. They took of my uncle on the trip in 76. To the left a little bit. A little bit right there. Let me get my finger in front of the... There we go. Perfect execution on that. Right. Nanny will be proud of us. Nice. Now well, it's official now. <laughs> Back on the road. Well, mama run her out of gas on me, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and fill up again. 17 miles the gallon. That's pretty good. We'll see what I get here. Mom don't really want to drive through Houston, so I'm gonna drive for a while. Well, we have got off the interstate system. I guess the traffic's really bad in Houston. GPS is recommending to go the northern route above it. It says right now we'll be in San Antonio at like 8 p.m. So 
Probably gonna be later than if I had to guess. We'll finish that book. One book down. On to the next one. It's only like halfway through the second day. First time in Texas, guys. Whoa! Yeah! Mama drive. Mom's trying to find us a room for the night. Oh, Dollar Central. Oh. Man, it's been oh. it's been so long. What is that? I don't know, but I like it. That's really cool. What? I go in. Definitely abandoned, whatever it is. We should go in. Been a tragedy happened. We passed the Dollar General and couldn't get the phone out in time to video it. Moment of silence for that. I love the old steel bridges. They're so cool. Yeah, I love to look at them from afar. I yeah, like to be on them. There yeah. she is. Another Tennessee mile marker. Gotta love a good traffic jam. Pretty far outside of Houston. We tried to go around, you know, and still got traffic jam. We got an Impala SS pass to this here. We got to give him the wave. Thumbs up. Yeah, he knows what's up. He's videoing us, and we're videoing him. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So this is a toll road, and like every three miles or something, they toll you again. It's like South Florida. By the time you get to your destination, they own your car. The farther we get, the less it looks like home. We just went over a thousand miles. In two days? Two days we've hit a thousand miles already. So we are a fifth of the way through the trip. Oh. Big blame. I think the governor had a brother in law that's in the bridge building business or something. This is too many bridges. what they do to you in Houston? Did they break your leg in San Antonio? Yeah. I thought so. Alright, San Antonio, here we come. Woo! We basically made a big northern loop around Houston. And if you took a wrong turn, how would you get back to here? You wouldn't. You would just go. Keep going until you get got back around. to Tennessee. Yeah. See so ya, you son. Woo! That's reliable, that brother. <laughs> Trying to get to San Antonio. Like Peterbilt, son. What in the world are those? Alien spacecrafts. For sure. What is that, Walt? I have no idea. American oil, son. Oh, it's oil. Yeah. What you got? PB and Jan on the road. Yeah. Maybe it's a money. We have not passed a single station wagon. I've just thought about it. It's a crime chain. What is the world coming to? We need your help. Get you a station wagon, get out there on the road. We gotta bring them back for the people of this great country. Trade in that minivan and SUV. Get you a good station wagon. What is that? It's like a roadside attraction. It's closed now. Looks like it. We got our first working oil well. That's cool. We don't have anything like that where we live at all. I think I saw him in South Dakota, so. Ralphie said he saw a cacti earlier. Confirm cacti spawning. Bucky's. Bucky. In Texas. Woo woo. Never been to a Bucky's in Texas. That's your we're in a quarter of a tank, so we're gonna go ahead and get There's some gas. Free. That is not bigger. That is not bigger. That is not even close. The one we got in Tennessee is that is bigger than that. Pardon our mess. We are constructing the biggest buckies yet. Oh, no, we're just early. Hey, look, it's a horse. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's $2.99 here. Last year we were paying over $5 a gallon in that motorhome. Crazy difference in just a year. We're like, what, a couple hours from San Antonio? An hour? Oh, sweet. The dragon is awoke. We're like 1,100 miles in. Hasn't used any oil at all. Haven't had to put any fluids in it. Only thing is, the cruise control has quit working, it seems, and we have to wiggle the charger. So far, so good, though. Oh, uh, this is gonna cost me. That's pretty big, just not as big as the ones we've seen before. Told you. 
I caught you. Not too bad. 17 miles a gallon again. It's pretty steady, isn't it? Well, we're getting off this exit here because apparently there is a big wreck ahead of us and this is going to make it faster. So hopefully we'll get to our room before it's too late. Man, this is a little sketch, isn't it? This road is like ridiculous. I, I feel like I'm doing the whoops on a dirt bike here. Oh, one lane is super bumpy, especially in this boat. The most sketchiest road I've ever been it, on. It's crazy. Potholes we have dodged that are so big. Like you would definitely mess your car up if you hit them. I feel like I'm in a construction zone where I should be. Like I should have a hard hat on to be here. Yeah, we shouldn't be on this road. I need a reflective vest to drive this. You can't go slow when you're four wheel. It's hard. That's what we're passing though. Is back, back in the rear. Look, they're just driving in the middle of the road. They just cut us off. There's something wrong with them. Oh my oh, gosh. You better slow up, babe. Oh my gosh. Don't rag. They almost hit us just a second ago. Yeah. Look how old the road they are. Yeah, they're close to that wall. Please don't rag. Look. Oh, oh. oh. They cut them off too. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Oh, oh. I thought they were getting on. I'm just following some by the interstate and they look like they're about to wreck somebody. They like their drunk driver or something. It's a gold or tan colored CRV Honda. We're coming up on exit 587. They're on it, I guess. That's all we can do, really. Oh, 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 oh. They just about hit the barrier light. We're coming into San Antonio now. See some buildings. Yeah, Wawa's gonna like it, I think. Military. We got tanks. Oh, and stuff, that's a military huh? tank. Yeah. We just tried to get off our exit and it was literally shut down. There was barriers. A up. truck in front of it. So now we're having a U-turn. Go left. You go left. Then take exit 155C toward West Houston Street and Commerce Street. This is where we're staying down here? Wow, I think it's a, this is my this is the best part yet. This is the best part. Mom? Oh, this, it's very this is cool, isn't it? So this is down near the river. Look walk. at that carriage ride! <laughs> it's lit up! Wow. That's cool. <laughs> What have you booked us? I would like that. You like a squeeze? Look at this empire right here, Ralph. Look at this. Empire. Mom has good taste. I don't know what I have to say about this. Oh my gosh. Swagger. Swanker. You said this was cheaper than last night's motel, though. It was cheaper than last night's motel. Oh, that's incredible. Hey, it's ridiculous. Texas is over This is a low ceiling. Hopefully our... Oh my gosh, don't get into the lights. Is our topper going to get ripped off? Oh, this is... Oh. That's crazy. You should have seen the fiasco trying to get this thing in here. We had no room. We all had to get out of the driver's side. They didn't make that for old wagons, did they? We got to take that booking app away from her. It's very nice. Oh wow, there's a river walk right there. Oh, we're gonna have to go down there, aren't we? We got to take the app away. <laughs> you saw what I booked yesterday. Well, this is this is doors to the outside. Doors to the inside for life. <laughs> Y'all are fancy. It really wasn't that bad. It was like, it was <laughs> it's incredible. This wasn't more expensive than the one yesterday. You never know if somebody's going to be in the room or not. We have had that happen like three times. Oh, tall windows. Oh, tall windows. This is the highest. Turn the lights on. This is nice. Well done, Mom. We're going exploring on the river walk. After 9 o'clock at night already. We'll see how this goes. 
Oh wow. Oh, it's very pretty. It's cool, huh? We've never been here. Wait, this is new to us. I love the buildings and stuff. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat, huh? Take boat rides down here. This is all you, Wah. Huh? This is really cool. It is beautiful down here. This is super cool. Definitely recommend this. I love the lit up trees. Yeah, we went across that road three times to get in here. We didn't even show them that. You turned it. Look, these are the houses that were here. How cool, they had like a, a walking bridge. That's incredible, they built houses right here back forever ago. Oh, Squeezie's gonna be all in this. Look, it goes through these little channels. Did you really step in it? I don't know. You don't step in it, girl. You should have raised her better. <laughs> wow, look at the bottom of this bridge. Look, it's all iron rivets and stuff. I bet that's really old. What is in that? Oh, no, thank you. That's really cool. We're going to check this out tomorrow for sure. We got to get our stuff out of the car so they don't tow us. Well, I forgot to get the mileage off the car before we came in here, but I know we did over 600 miles today. So made it all the way to San Antonio. Really pretty down there. So this is the part of the trip where we're kind of trying to slow down because we're, this is an area we really wanted to see. So we decided to stay an extra night here. So we're gonna stay tonight and tomorrow so we don't have to pack up all our mess in the morning. But we're planning on going down to the Alamo, looking around the river walk in the daylight. We may take a tour maybe or something. Several other things around here we wanted to see. So we're gonna see what we can check out tomorrow. But we will see you guys in the morning and we'll start seeing some cool stuff. Bye! She up next morning. Let's see which continent this breakfast is from. Best breakfast we've had in a while <laughs> at a motel. They even have hot syrup. Soda fountain over there, biscuits and gravy. This room is only 139 a night. Yeah, best one so far. Which, I mean, you can't see her anywhere for that. I'm in full tourist mode now and we're gonna walk to the Alamo from here. It's like third of a mile. We should be fine, right? Surely. Hey, they kept their butter out of the freezer too. This is the best breakfast I've had forever. Freaked. Looks like we're one of the first ones out this morning. Look, 1922. How cool is that? This bridge is 101 years old, Tosh. Awesome. Wow, it's beautiful down here. Awesome. Look at those stairs. Don't you love the stairs wall? Going up the buildings. Wow, look up. Wow. Incredible, look at the architecture. Well, I think we're going the right way. Man, there's tons of beautiful bridges and buildings here. It's a beautiful area, 1891. Oh, wow, this is really opening up. I didn't expect it to be this open in here. Oh, wow, there it is. The Alamo. Look at that. This is where Davy Crockett died. So cool, wow. This was built in the early 1700s by the Roman Catholic Church. Man, we don't see much stuff that's built in the 1700s, do we? No. This was built here before it was America. Look at the walls, too. Teddy Roosevelt did a speech here. Uh, that's Davy Crockett. Hey, Dave. He was from Tennessee. I don't think I've ever seen a building that shape in person. I've just seen pictures of it. Like a building built on a corner like that. Reminds me of like old New York City pictures or something. So I guess these are the walls of Almo Plaza here. Yeah, there was a few hundred Texans and several thousand Mexicans killed almost every one of them. Well, it's just about to open, so we're gonna go in, see what this is all about. They have like a museum inside with artifacts, so you know I'm excited. If there's a museum, I'm all about it. They got real Texas Rangers. Real Texas Rangers, yes, with hats. Wow, it is beautiful in here. Look at that tree, a big live oak tree. You can see the damage on the building from battles and stuff. Squeezy's just happy. It's got air conditioning. Wow. It's deeper than I thought it would be. Yeah. Wow. Look how thick the walls are. That is so cool. I love this kind of stuff. Let's just read all the plaques. He reads all the plaques on his please. Mm -hmm. Takes forever, don't it? Yes. So there's markings all up through here and it says there's graffiti up there from the 1850s. People carved their name in it. Uh, it's funny how graffiti becomes history, huh? Oh, you can see it up there too, look. Wow. 
this is a list of all the people that died at the Alamo. Look how many of them were from Tennessee over here. These are some of the really notable ones that died here. Wow. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's see what's outside. Gotta have a gift shop. Spanish missionary named Father Antonio D. Travis writes a series of letters. About 90 minutes. He executes all surviving defenders. Some 500 Mexican soldiers are killed or wounded compared to the 200 or so rebels who lose their lives. You like those movies? Yeah. Those picture shows? Yeah. Incredible history, huh? Crazy. I saw you checked out for a little bit. I saw it. She can only handle about five minutes of history. The firing pin strikes a primer, causing a spark igniting the main chart. Same way with here. This is the layers under the floor. This shows. You know, at the bottom, it was what it was in 1724. They got all kinds of statues out here to all the people that were here. There was people that left to send out the message that they were under siege and came back just to get killed here. It's just incredible to me that that's 300 years old, over 300 years old. It's very beautiful. It is. Hi, guys. I need some of those in my phone. Okay. You don't even have to pay. If you, if you don't want to see the exhibits, this Alamo part's free. I want to see the exhibits, of course. How tiny those are. Huh? Yeah, it kicks. Probably. <laughs> that related to the weight of the kind of whatever shooting is. Yeah. Man, it's incredible they have all these artifacts from the Alamo. All the old muskets and stuff. Man, those those are funny little pistols. Yeah, I like the Alamo. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So this is a buckskin vest that was purchased from the Crockett family. It's a Mexican officer's helmet back then. Wow. Finally, That's what it looked like then. This is some of the places that people were from that died at the Alamo, all the way from Denmark and Germany. I didn't know that. This is a Bible from 1770. Look how intricate all the writing is. Oh, look at all the different size cannonballs. Wow. All those different sizes. Oh wow, look at the old knives and stuff. So there's a Bowie knife named after the guy that died here. This is really cool. Oh yeah, I love the old muskets and stuff. But I guess this is like the very first picture of it ever made. 1850s. Look, look how people dressed back then. Wow, I love the old photos. This is my favorite part is the photos. Oh wow. You got John F. Kennedy here, Nixon. Johnny Cash, yeah, Reagan, exactly. Colonel Sanders, most importantly, John Wayne. So this is all documents and letters around the time of the Alamo in the 1830s. It's amazing that they still exist. Their handwriting, impeccable. That was definitely worth going in there. Very cool. It's incredible the stuff they have, the artifacts. I guess we've seen all we're gonna see here. This is a beautiful place. Really incredible, the history here. It's the Alamo with Legos. Oh my gosh. There's a bear. There's a bear in the middle. That's awesome. This guy is carrying a snake, chasing a skunk. I don't know about that guy. <laughs> She's scared of the dinosaur. <laughs> so we're back on the river walk now, and this makes a loop. So we're at this end. We can loop back around and come back to our motel room, which is this way. We're gonna go this way and make the circle and see what's here. Look, it's Papa Jeff. Looks <laughs> <laughs> just like him. That's his favorite green shirt. Well, it wouldn't be Texas without going eating some real barbecue. This is a cool old building, isn't it? I love the old chairs and stuff. Look at that doorway. It's incredible. Right here on the river walk. Oh man, this looks good, don't it? Yeah. Jalapeno? Jalapeno. Sweet's got her own barbecue over here. Barbecue macaroni, I guess. She's super picky. Well, we had some good Texas barbecue. That was that was worth it right there. Wasn't that bad either, really? On down the river walk here. Let's see what else we can see. This is known as Rosita's Bridge, named in honor of the Ralph is all about waving at people he doesn't know. Rosita. Gotta get those photos. <laughs> we got cow action over here. Pretty cool statue. Man, these trees are incredible. They're so big. 
I love these fire escape stairs. We don't see stuff like that where we're from. Squeeze is calling in the ducks. <coughs> calling them in. Wow, look at all the locks people put on here. That's crazy. You have to like be your initials that someone you love and you have to lock them together. Okay. They have some interesting bridges here for sure. Really cool, isn't it? I just saw a digit move. That's cool. How many different types of bridges have we saw? I've never seen that lockdown. It's bridges. I mean, they're all like designed differently. Every one we've been under. It's crazy. Yeah, you want to open your mouth when you look up for pigeons. Always. <laughs> My back is hurting after all that walking. Kids are wanting to go to the pool. You know how kids are. All right, pool time. Man, this is a rooftop pool. Man, we can see the town from here. Pretty big. All right, y'all have fun. I'm gonna go edit. Okay. Bubbles to a minimum, okay? He didn't listen to me. Well, at least we caught the end of Jeopardy. Well, it's been a few hours. I got some editing done. They got some swimming done. We're gonna go eat because they have free dinner here. Have you ever heard of that? I've never stayed anywhere that had dinner. That's crazy. Man, pulled pork, baked beans, baked potatoes, hot dogs, nachos. This is the get up right here. A little over a hundred bucks a night and you get two meals for five people and a pool and everything else. Yeah. You can't beat it. And popcorn. You just can't beat it. We're gonna see about the boat rides. We got three Coca-Cola. Yeah, and a Coke, fountain Cokes. It's like standing in front of a hair dryer out here, isn't it? It's so hot. It's very hot. But we got our tickets. We're gonna get on the boat ride. Well, here comes our boat. Are you excited, Squeeze? She loves tram rides and trolley rides and boat rides. She don't really like the big rides. She likes to ride to it. <laughs> they filmed Jennifer right Lopez here on this, was on this bridge when they filmed uh, Selena. Jennifer Lopez spent the night building this out of shape. Right here in the of shape. Wow. Where Lee Huckman used to live. She was the widow of Robert Harvey Huckman. Robert Harvey Huckman. Squeezes waving everyone. This vision right here. Robert Huckman designed all of the sidewalks. That President Roosevelt said, just give my man make the money for us. Don Rivers, the fifth father me already. R H H Huckman, followed by A I A, which stands for American Institute of Architects. So they had a World's Fair here in 1968. This is why they built this canal here and this bridge. Crazy how they changed a whole town for a fair. So that was built for the World's Fair in 1968. Kind of like how Knoxville did It is 750 feet to the top of the antenna. Once again, another crazy bridge design. Very cool. Negotiating. behind You'll see this big orange sculpture right here. La Vita here was founded in 1722. Haven't been founded in 2013 and named in honor of Dolphins. This is built in the 20s. Area of land yeah, look how pretty it is up there. would be similar to New York City's Rockefeller wow. Center. Originally, wow. under the word all, weird. evil spirits and bad business. Been here ever 300 since year old tree. So, Ben Mon was shot by a sniper that was in this tree. He was standing over there. That's why I named the tree after him. David! Well, did you guys like the boat ride? It's very good. I loved it. I love learning about the history of this stuff. I mean, thanks. There's not signs that take you. Yeah, exactly. We've been to a few towns over the years, and it's like, without taking the tour, you really don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, you see they're cool, but you don't know what happens. Exactly. And this is right outside our room here. Such a pretty area. We walked back in here after doing that, and they're going for seconds already. <laughs> did you find something else to read? I got this from the front desk. This building was built in 1921. I don't know as if that a public right. service building. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm probably one of the small percentage of people that asked the front desk for this paper. Uh, you asked the front <laughs> yeah, I asked desk. Them for it. Oh, oh. I asked him if they when it was built, date. and she said they had paperwork on it. So. Oh my this. gosh, you're too much. <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for today. We got to get everything packed up and head out in the morning after we have breakfast. We're going to head towards New Mexico and try to make it to Guadalupe Mountain National Park. And maybe on to Roswell and then probably going to be the next day, but like White Sands and Tombstone, Arizona is the plan. Ralphie's a baby in the floor. He hasn't got to sleep in the bed yet on this trip. 
great time today at the Alamo and the boat ride and everything. I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do tonight still, so. They're gonna get to bed, I'm gonna get to work, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye! Bye. Bye. Next morning, we're sleepy. I still haven't shaved, and we're gonna go eat something. Once again, very good breakfast here. No sponsorship here, but the Drury on the Riverwalk in San Antonio, excellent choice to stay at. How did we pack this much stuff out in like know. two days? I'm not gonna pack it in our car. We gotta pack all this. <laughs> oh my, now we got stairs, right? We're having to do this in shifts so we don't leave all our luggage sitting out here. <laughs> all right, we got our big sardine can packed. Squeeze gonna take the first leg in the back since it's not too hot yet. Let's get on the road. They really did not build this for big vehicles, did they? No. I don't know how they get in here with these big SUVs. We're headed out of San Antonio towards Bandera, Texas, Western town. Hey, those are old. Our air conditioning works so good, it's frosted up in here. Well, it was definitely a nice change of pace to spend two nights there and not have to pack up first thing in the morning. And it's a really cool town, it's really worth staying at. We'll see how many miles we can get today, though. We're getting off towards Bandera, Texas, on the back road. It's looking a lot different here. Different kind of trees and brush. Don't look like what we've been driving through. Golly, look at their fence. What are they keeping in? Jurassic Park over here or something? Y'all better keep the papers open. Yeah, look out, it's guys. It's really pretty out here. Wow, look at that Elk Mountain. Whoa. I just saw the Elks over there. Well, do you want me to turn around? You're gonna turn around then is what you're gonna do. I all right, where are you turning it? I got my eyes. I hope there's an elk. Okay, no, swivel here. Oh gosh. I've never seen an elk in my entire life. Pray for us. Let's see if mom was right. Where are you seeing elk at? Out there, they're laying down. I told you. Where? Look Under the trees. Way down there, Dad. Oh, wow. I think mom was right. I don't know how she saw them. You should call them. There's an elk right there. Oh, that is the first time I've seen an elk in person. Oh, there's more in the trees. This is one heck of a gate here. So they're right there. And right there, some elk. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> Can't believe we didn't call them in. Too bad they're not close to the fence. And she is riding low. For sure. Good eye, Mom. You're welcome. A tear would shed if I hear one bugle. <laughs> Exactly. Wawa's never heard of elk bugle. It sounds like a flute or something. Like. Yeah, it's crazy. I've never heard yeah, one. Yeah, a tear would definitely shed if we heard that real Hundred percent. Even better than elk, we got a dollar gentle. Look, they have all their mailboxes at the end of the road. We're used to mailboxes at our house, and I guess they don't drive down every road here. Oh wow, look at that building, guys. Look at that. That's the dance hall. The dance hall? Dollar Central. There she is. We got buzzard action. We got a horseback rider sign. We're coming into Bandera now. Bandera city limits, 950 people. Of course. We're stopped to read a marker. So this was a strategic Indian point in the early days, it says, starting in the 1840s. This marker was put here in 1936. Get this stuff oh, right you don't need no collectibles. We ain't got nowhere to put them. Oh, cool. I got a rig right. Look at these old buildings. Ooh. First National Bank. Silver Dollar. That's the uh, cutest dollar got... <laughs> I've ever seen. Very cute. It's like the Alamo. <laughs> All the buildings here. It looks like you're in a Western movie. It's really neat. So it's not a ghost town for sure. It but it's like... kind of like a small Western town that never grew up real big. What is that? Oh, that's what you need, a mini, a little mini bobcat. How, how do you sit on it? You there? stand on the back of it. Oh, that's smart. Oh, check out the Bronco. You don't see those much. Man, our buddy Teddy would like that, wouldn't he? He's got a couple of them, don't he? Yeah. Squeezy's waving at people in the back. Exactly. You do? <laughs> I think we're going to pull in here to like the downtown area and walk around a minute. Be Man, I love the old sign down here. That's really cool general store we're gonna see what's up with this town Branding iron. oh we're saddling up our horses here <laughs> i love these sidewalks here covered walkways 
Nothing is open. Imagine <laughs> that. You get a serum before anything's open. They don't, they don't open till 10. Calm down. You need to sleep in later. Hey, I'm going to need me some of them cacti right there. Where are you going to put the cacti? I'll tie it to the roof rack. So you think ignoring me. Please don't act like you don't know. I said that. I absolutely love that old bank. It's so cool. Tree growing in between the buildings. We're going in the Bandera General Store here. Oh, cool. I love the old floors. Yeah. That's the real deal, Holyfield, isn't it? With the cone. Is this cool? Like the old Western bar here. I think that's the biggest mechanical jack I've seen. That's really cool. Yeah. Wawa's found the used book section. She's a book nerd. Not a book nerd. We walked down here to the courthouse. Apparently this is the cowboy capital of the world. These are a bunch of the cowboys that are honored here. A lot of rodeo finalists and champions come from this town. So Bandera was one of the main towns that was along the longest route that they used moving cattle from Mexico through Texas. It says that between 1874 and 1894, 10 million longhorn cattle came through here. And basically once barbed bar wire came around, they quit doing it. The last cattle run through here was in 1893 going to Deadwood, South Dakota. Been there. Here's the route of the cattle trail. So from Bandera where we're at, all the way up through Oklahoma, Dodge City where we went last year, into Nebraska. And look, this is all the different brands. Of Bandera. From Bandera cattle. And they got a really cool statue here of a cowboy on his horse. That would be a dream fulfilled, wouldn't it? Yeah. If only we could haul it home. Man, that is a super clean Bronco. You don't see those in Tennessee like that. But it's still got its original caps, Tosh. I oh, know, that thing is nice. Very nice Bronco. Oh no, this ain't good. Man, look how all these buildings are over here. Got old windmill and everything. Oh, this is fancy. Oh wow, that's so cool looking in there. Well, you are part Indian, right? I know. What have you done, honey? Since I couldn't get a live one. Oh, we got you got two? For you expect them to have babies? One's for Mimi, her birthday's coming up. Oh, okay. Don't tell her. Don't tell Mimi, guys. Look at the old shoe shining chair. You don't see them often, do you? The old mercantile. They got a butcher shop here and everything. So this building right here on the corner is the oldest building in the town. It built in 1873. Well, we were on the way out and then we saw this visitor center. So we're gonna walk in and see what it's all about. Museum, we've got lots of shopping. Baby, we've got the... <laughs> Little ghost town back here. <laughs> so they do a gun fight back here every Saturday. That's pretty cool, huh, Squeeze? Look, like saloon doors, Ralphie. You love the saloon doors. This is your size. We need this in our backyard, don't we? Well, that was pretty cool. We got to get back on the road. Definitely recommend Bandera, Texas. Very cool, isn't it, Ralph? Mm -hmm. The Arky Blue Silver Dollar Saloon. She said that it's the oldest saloon in Texas that's still running. Mama done stopped to get us some groceries. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Got peanut butter we got honey. lunch and we got dinner. And Wawa is special because she don't eat jelly. She's so extra, isn't she? She's so extra. Wawa likes the Volkswagen bus. Wawa is excited about seeing the desert and tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds, yes. I really want to see tumbleweeds. We'll see if we can make that happen. I'd like to announce that we have surpassed our mileage last year. We're at 1,300 and something miles now. Last year we, we made it to 1,260. So we have surpassed last year's trip already. Squeeze has decided to sit in the middle seat because she got hot in the back. The DG. These are my kind of people right here. 80? Oh my gosh. Don't look up. We keep heading down. I've been going 90. You didn't know it. She's going 85 and we're getting passed by trucks with trailers loaded down to the max. I think they're saying that like it's a lot. This is where you should have lived. We are pulling off in a picnic area here to go ahead and have our lunch in the middle of the Texas Hill Country. You ready to eat, Squeezel? Yeah. And it's different than Tennessee. Somebody left their battery sitting on the side of the road right there. That thing had been gone in two seconds. Strap that to the yeah. Track. Give me that core charge. Uh -huh. What is that noise? <laughs> they're going. They're going. What makes that noise? We don't have that noise in Tennessee. What makes that noise? Okay. Well, our sandwiches are a little frozen. 
but they're better than nothing. Got my sandwich in the microwave right now. Real quick while we're here, we got a picture in the photo album we want to try to match up. All right, there it is. Let's see if we can do it. You got it right there? Yep. Wow, good deal. <laughs> Looks like they were off in like a picnic area too, so we matched it up pretty good. That's right, back on the road. Bookworms. Is that sediment layers? I believe that is sediment layers, sir. See, so far out here, it's crazy. You're going to 85, singing Tell Laura I Love Her. <laughs> I was sleepy. I'm so tired. You just so. had a rock star. You should be fine. It didn't kick in. Oh. Well, we don't know how far apart gas stations are out here, so we're just getting off, get some fuel. We're right at a quarter of a tank or close to it, aren't we? Yeah. I see a truck stop. The love's out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're on lap three of trying to find a gas pump. This RV right here, look at that. Nice. They've been all over. There you go, honey. Right in front of them. We'll fit right in. Well, you got 16.2 miles per gallon. Got the low cooling pot going again. Whatever reason. Just living on a prayer out right here. Mom's white knuckle again because it's on this crazy groove pavement. The car's moving around. We have a line of cars behind us. Finally, we're off that. Look at all these people behind us. He's like, thank you. Man, that's a nice, that's a Jaguar F-Top, Robbie. Woo! It's starting to look kind of deserty out here. Yeah. It is ultra flat now in every direction. It's, it's crazy. We never made it this far before, did we? No. We made it to like the rolling prairie in South Dakota. We never made it to like the desert looking stuff like this. I love these hills in here. It's like a Western movie. We're seeing some wind turbines over the mountains here. Way off in the distance. Pumping oil out of the ground here. What is that? Is it an old mine shaft? It looks like an old mine shaft. You can smell the oil here, can you? I can smell it. It's weird. I don't know if I've no ever noticed that before. You can just smell it in the air. We're in Bakersfield, Texas. It looks really pretty out here, so we're going to pull off and just look around. Look at all these pump jacks, my wife says they're called. Man, it is super windy out here. <laughs> it's got a definite smell to it, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a pyramid out there. Smelly and windy out here. This is the desert. While you want to see the desert, you're in the desert. We're gonna get some drinks and some chips and mom, I don't know what stage of crazy she's in right now, but she's somewhere in there. PB and J break, squeeze. In the desert. Look at the cacti down here. You wanna to touch a cacti? Yeah. Watch out for a S N A K E. I bet you can't have water. Yep. Can you imagine crossing this in a covered wagon? I could not imagine. That would be insane. It's incredible that anybody ever did it. I guess that is natural, that pyramid thing. Those turbines look little to you, get right up on them and they're enormous. They're on this whole mountain range over here. They ain't got no Dollar Gentro out here. They ain't for sure got no Dollar Gentro out here. We ain't seen one in a hundred miles. No. It's like a bunch of abandoned gas stations and stuff here. All kinds of empty buildings. And people say the earth's not flat. Oh, don't you start to miss me I'm looking at evidence right now. We're getting off here because I'm about to bust. <laughs> His eyeballs are slow. Apparently Pecos is that direction. Incredible. Well, they even got the saloon here at the gas station. Oh, man, it's good to stretch my legs. My left knee is killing me. I can't ride like I used to. Man, our car is looking rough. Look at how dirty the back is. Come here. Look, look, we got drips coming off our dents. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh my gosh. Do you see how dirty this thing is? Look at the back of it. 
don't know where all that came from. Looks like we've been in a snowstorm. They're both gonna get back here now. It's not quite as hot. I guess now it's raining and stuff. Well, all right, have fun. How time you drove? Coming up to the Guadalupe Mountain Range. The whole train is full of military trucks and tanks. Wow. Never seen that before. Well, we are coming into Van Horn, Texas. We are almost out of Texas now, and we're needing some fuel. I guess we're going to stop at the Loves again, and we're going toward the Guadalupe Mountain Range. We booked a room for tonight in Roswell. We're not far from Mexico here at all. It's so pretty. I knew we should have drove through here. I know you wanted to go here. Man, it is a pretty mountain range out here. This side's all mountains and over there just flat. Man, this is a really pretty drive out here. You're right up against the mountain range. Feels like you're on Route 66 or something. I'm really glad I put this whole list to go to. This is incredible. And especially from like the back window. It's very nice. Highly recommend. Really? There's a red light here? <laughs> it's almost comical. We're in the middle of nowhere. Wait time. After three minutes it said us. We just had to pull over and look. It's huge. Isn't it incredible? Look at this place. <sighs> so beautiful. It's incredible to me that anybody traveled through here or lived here before there was like a public road system and vehicles. You're literally in the middle of nowhere. That's an accurate statement. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Feels like a hair dryer again. Yep. Is this the Grand Canyon? Not the Grand Canyon. It's even bigger than this, believe it or not. So that's the Blue Origin Space Launch site. No way. We have passed over 1,700 miles now. Dang. We're knocking down the miles for sure. We're gaining elevation, that's for sure. This My ears is popping. Yeah. yeah, same. That's where we came from, huh? Yeah. My ears. Yeah, I don't know my ears Can't hear that? It's going to get cooler, probably. Uh, we're getting past my band base oh. in the oncoming lanes. Oh, gosh. Oh, Dude, my why gosh. would we do that? can't even see. And we're going over going 70. 75. He's going 90. He's a madman. There's a horse. There's a horse? There's a horse. There's a horse. Random. It's a random wild horse. I'm telling you. Guaranteed. A wild Mustang. Look at him. Yeah, that's wild horses. They stay in groups. I mean, they ain't no houses or nothing. New Mexico. There it is. Hey, we're in New Mexico. I just wonder who built that house and thought this is where I'm gonna live out here in the middle of nowhere. Board it up now. That's definitely an old gas station there. Campgrounds, huh? <laughs> yeah. I saw that movie. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, look at the longhorns. We got longhorn cattle here. Oh, those are Watusi. Oh, Watusi. Those are Watusi. Apache Cannon Trading Post. I don't know. It's closed down. Oh my god. It's like another tourist attraction that's under. Look that, Wa. We got the world's largest pistachio ahead somewhere. Oh, We've got to see this. There she is. Where home we met. Home. There's another. There's a Sonic and a Taco a Bell. Taco Bell. We gotta go to Taco Bell. Ooh, yeah! Taco Bell, Ralphie, sorry. I know we came for the tacos, but I think I see a Thunderbird over there. Did she say Trish? Yeah, mom's ordered this under the name Trish. That's her go-to. What? She's crazy. She is crazy. They hit the spot, squeeze. Did you never try these? Oh, Cinnabons. What's inside? 
Oh, he's sliding the spirit over here. <laughs> Can I have it? No. That's abuse, Clark. Oh, wow. She gonna stay right there. We got a little bit over an hour left to get to Roswell. Hopefully we make it there before sunset. At least it is a pretty sunset out here in the middle of nowhere. There's literally hundreds of those pumps everywhere out here. You think they've been playing them? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. That's not our fault. This is Artesia, New Mexico. There's a little statue there. Jet. I love those old jets. The DG. We have finally made it into Roswell. Look at the aliens at, at the gas station. There's aliens. Uh, ain't no way. She doesn't no. like people in costumes. We need to get out of here. That's what needs to happen. Oh, gonna be great. I like it. Due to our head. They're, oh. We're all staying for the oh, alien wait. tomorrow. Is this the alien festival down here? Yeah, yeah. You have a museum? We just found out they're having an alien festival tomorrow and we had no idea. <laughs> they have the main street shut down. Oh, they got dancers and everything out there. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this about? Aliens. Well, he's unmarked. Well, there's more. Look at that RV. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool looking. <laughs> Aliens everywhere. The alien dollar gentle. Uh, we even got an alien at our motel. <laughs> <laughs> He's a happy alien. Oh yeah, these are nice ones. Okay. Hey, we gotta make sure the aliens don't abduct this because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing. Ralphie, you don't have to worry. There's no aliens around here to abduct you. Oh, no. <laughs> we drove 663 miles today. Wow, that's a record. It feels like it. I was like, my legs is clear when I'm in there, like I've been on a boat or something. That's a lot of miles in one day. Hey, I drove most of them. You I did. Know. You did good. <laughs> Let's get in this motel. Oh, wow, Whoa. Mom. What? Wait, I bet you it has a out. I guarantee it does. That's it. I'm booking the next one. The room here was more expensive because yeah, they're having this festival and we didn't even know it. This one was what it cost two nights with the other one. Lord. 1,857 miles so far. It's a long way, isn't it, Squeezel? Yeah. We're all pretty much dead tired. There's a two-hour time change difference, so it's like... Yeah after 11 at home. So we will see you guys in the morning. Go see Roswell, check out some alien stuff. Maybe ever alien festival, we don't even know. But guys, that's gonna be the end of our first video. That was over five hours of footage. We're gonna kinda have to break this trip up a little bit because it's such a long trip. We will see you guys in the next video and we will start out here in Roswell and head towards Arizona and up through Utah and Colorado and Wyoming and everything and head to Yellowstone. So thanks for watching our channel. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.